I yeah. never had nobody saying you stole that, you took that. You there was one instance, and I don't want to start something. There was one comic. He he said his boys. He didn't see it. His boys saw Told me do him. it. And I was like, what? And if you knew this comic, and I'll tell you off air, our acts are <laughs> nothing oh alike. God. I go, what joke do I have of yours? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. The one thing I can ask you, like, and I talk to a lot of comedians, like, is this some people that you co you've come up under when you was younger that was like, man, don't do certain jokes because they would. This is something that's a known thing to certain comedians. You're so different, you might not experience yeah, nobody that. Ever came to me. But you know that happens, yeah, yeah. right? Like, don't don't be don't tell don't tell this joke. You know, <laughs> don't no, talk in about the beginning. This. There was uh, <laughs> in the beginning. There's always a. I had honestly, I had more people give me tags. I remember a Vet Lee Wilson uh -huh. gave me a dope tag I used one time. Wow. She goes, hey, that joke's good, but tag it with this. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. I had more people like give like me that. tags. Yeah. I never had nobody saying you stole that, you took that. You there was one instance, and I don't want to start something. There was one comic. He, he said his boys, he didn't see it. His boys saw totally. me do it. And I was like, what? And if you knew this comic, and I'll tell you off air, our acts are <laughs> nothing like, alike. I go, what joke do I have of yours? It's like me and Wanda Sykes saying I stole something and she's a lesbian. No, I'm like, no. I didn't steal that. I don't know what dick's like. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I know that happens because the world you guys live in, it's, a, it's not as big of a circle as people would think, you know, because y'all deal with a lot of the same crowds, a lot of the same people coming to see y'all. Yeah, especially so people selling tickets. That's right. It's small. Comics selling tickets. That's right. Because I I do Dallas every New Year's Eve. Yeah, you be like, right. yeah, I be like, man. So we got it. We booked that six months in advance because we got to lock in a good headliner. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and we've had everybody. We had Cedric. We had Epps. We have. We've had everybody. This year we got Lavelle and Nate man. Jackson, and Miss Pat. So we yeah. got a good show. But just being hands on with the promoters on that show trying to figure out, you know, we'll get the list together. I was like, man, there's really not a lot to pull from. Yeah, you're I'm telling at you. Comics that can sell theaters like that. You're, you're looking at less than 20? Yeah. For an urban many. market? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's so, not a lot. No. And, and how, how many people fill that arena? I think at capacity is like 6,000. Okay. But New Year's, we got to cut it down a little bit because we end the show at 11.30 and we let everybody in the lobby. Okay. And we, we bring in a band and we, we the comics countdown bring in New Year's. Yeah, the that. countdown. So mm -hmm. we cut off a little bit on New Year's Eve uh, just because it's a fire, fire hazard. We can't okay. have all the people in the lobby like that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.